Yeah. The, the way he punches. Oh! oh! Holland sits stop, him down, stop, stop, stop. and Mark Ooh. Smith is going to call it. What is Last 90 seconds, let's see if he can land something significant here to change the, uh, to turn the tide. Oh, that was good. But he's doing well, he's got to posture up here, sneak his shoulders through, he's got to be careful not to just, uh, punch his way through, like he does with most of his fighting style. You've got to think with the experience that John Phillips has, he, you know, he's defended almost every submission you could, you could throw at him. Oh my God, look at that. When fatigue becomes a factor though, your defense starts to slip a little bit. You can see there, I mean, if that was oh, the first an easy round. Transition yeah. there, Dan just stepped over. Looking to try and take the back. Nice. Out. Now he Straight has into it. a choke as he falls back as well. That's some short choke That's this deep. time. There it is. Oh, oh, very nice. Tap. A submission win here in Beijing for Kevin Holland. Beautiful work for Kevin Holland. Good striking throughout the first round. Good defensive work in the second round. And an excellent ground game shown in the third. A very comprehensive performance from uh, from Kevin Holland. I'm excited to see him in this division. Phillips is the hardest hitting guy I've ever fought. No lie. I wanted to bang the whole time, but uh, he hit me with a shot and I was bleeding. And I said, ah, I lost the second round. I better shoot. Kevin Holland's in the black. Anthony Fluffy Hernandez in the green. No glove Ooh. touch between these two guys before a heavy combination to start Ooh. things. Well, as we saw in the contender, Fluffy Hernandez is a very fast starter. It took him 40 seconds to take out Jordan Wright. Backed him up against the fence and unleashed with a combination. Jordan Wright fell face down onto the canvas. Kevin Holland here looking fast, looking good. Holland started out with a big one-two and Hernandez didn't have very good things to say about the boxing of Kevin Holland. Thought he kind of lunged in, but a nice elbow there as they come to close. Oh, oh, that knee. Oh, 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 the knee. This is it. Oh, this is it. Blazer Holland! Wow! First round knockout! Wow! It was the knee to the midsection, took the wind out of him. And no question, the biggest performance of his career, and it did not take very long. Yeah, so I looked over at you guys, and no offense to you guys, but I noticed that DC wasn't here. So I said, if it starts wrestling, I ain't gonna have the wrestling advice. So I just. I gotta go ahead and get it out the way a little early. So you're relying on DC to give you the advice now? I'll have to let him know that. Yeah, he left before I can get the cheat code. That ain't right. You know what I mean? No, 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 this was fight. Come on, fight. <laughs> Joaquin <laughs> Buckley doesn't want to touch gloves. I mean, they did high five at the end of the second yeah, round. Yeah, no, they did. It's all love. I really think it's just this is how Kevin Holland fights. This is what keeps him motivated. He was saying in the one round that, you know, I know how Whoa. this feels. I've been here, my first UFC fight. It'll be okay. <laughs> He's mentoring him in there, Brendan. Trying to stick and move is Kevin Holland. But with a man like Buckley, yeah. the way he punches. Oh! Oh! Holland sits stop, him down, stop, stop, stop. and Mark Smith is going to call it. One and done on the knockout for the Trailblazer. Man, that is what he has been doing all night. He's been waiting, finding his moment, and capitalizing on the counter, especially against somebody as aggressive as Buckley. He finds his moments when he's throwing those big punches, and it's the counter attack again, and ultimately ends this fight from Kevin Holland. Wow. Whenever they want me in there, you know, uh, big shout out to Mick Maynard. You know, I love Mick. Uh, big shout out to Sean Shelby, and a uh, very, very big shout out to Dana White. So whenever you guys want me back in there, I'm in there. I'm in there like swimwear, baby. You know, and, and emotions are great. It gives you a lot of adrenaline. And adrenaline can be your best friend or your worst oh, nightmare. And certainly being over-emotional, that's never a good thing. In a fight, you want to become calm, collected, in the moment, nice and present, and relaxed, believe it or not. But Ontiveros did a good job there, almost by his feet. Go grab it. Kevin grab it. just dragged him back down. Stop! 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 Oh, and there's the tap! Wow! Don't move! Don't move! Kevin Holland don't move. chokes him out! Don't move! I'm not sure what happened, Michael. Yeah, that was voice. It ended quickly. That was real fast. I don't know. What are you saying? You want to fight one more time before yeah. the end of the year? Yeah. And if so, I can who? do. I can do catch weight at 175, 180, or Mike Perry wants to do 185, November 21st. Let's go. And then they told me they want me to fight somebody December 12th. I could do that too. And then if you want me to fight somebody before Christmas one more time, let's do that too. I'm trying to break records. Let's go.